Oh, fam, I'm getting a new sport, man. That's the truth, man. Hey, today is Thursday, Thursday in my city, Chicago. June 30th, 2022, so they say. It is uh, 522, according to Sony. My clock might be 521. You know, they say timing is everything, but... Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It don't make a difference when you got life in prison, now, do it? <laughs> I'm just saying. Food for thought. Got my Burger King crown hat on. You know, I was up north on uh, Clark right off of Howard. And, um, you know, I had a Whopper. This was like, you know, a couple of years ago. And I munched down in the Whopper. And it was a tooth in there. And I'm like, oh, I don't know, I got raggedy teeth. But it wasn't my tooth. But the Whopper was so good, I ate it anyway. Look, um, T.I. said, eat that little nigga for lunch, too. You know, if you don't think you'd be eating your family members with that meat, you might want to think again. You understand what I'm saying? Real tough. I mean, they just munch it all in. You know they talk about McDonald's, so... I'm a witness when it comes to Burger King. I used to work at Burger King on this downtown. Me and my ex-girlfriend, Sonovia Mays, she was black as tar. Real tough, so I don't discriminate black girls. I'm just saying. I once got busy in a Burger King bathroom. That's a true story. That's uh, Tupac and uh, Humpty Dance, you know. Uh, yeah, that, he was talking about me. All right, I just thought I'd give you that little truth or whatever. I'm going to wait till about 5.25 because, you know, that's my birthday. Went on a little journey, you know, riding my bike and stuff. Found a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Had to prove I was number one. I can't wear this uh, shirt for nothing. I got back at 5.03 p.m. Mm-hmm. Five and three is eight. I'm the originator of rap music since the age of... 8-1975. Um, I need my money. Because all they trying to wait till I die shit. You know, fuck that. Over here is 514. Money, Mississippi. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. It's starting to feel a lot like Christmas. Shout out to the people out there that's getting their hustle on the shit. Selling snow cones and whatever it is to feed your family. I told you to go for it in my book, Rhymes, Poems, and Metaphors, plus one song. But I did not mean for you to, uh, you know, try to discredit me and kill me. That's not how you become a pioneer or a legend. You know what I'm saying? That's a crook. That's a... Uh, Shyster, scavenger, savage. It's a person who can't make it on their own without discrediting other people. That don't count. That's called cheating. Real talk, so, you know, y'all got to get me about this trap, for real. Otherwise, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep killing you niggas with this word and shit. Real fucking talk. My real shit. Ain't go to Bible right here. Give the word. Tomorrow is payday. It's supposed to rain. Don't shit on me and say it's raining. This is uh, Job chapters 19, 20, and 21. This on page 506. And ain't no writing on this one, motherfucker. Nothing but black and white. So for all you black and white motherfuckers out there, hold on, where that, where that light at? Truth is the light. There you go. That's 506 over there. And five, 507 over here. I come from behind to get mine. It's real fucking so. Uh, job is job. Nobody wants a job and shit. You know what I'm saying? People want to be independent, but sometimes you have to work for other people. When I got my um, job at Burger King, I cried and everything when I was a teenager. You understand what I'm saying? And I cleaned up my sister house for $20. You understand what I'm saying? And it was not that clean, you know. And I put it on my um, application that, you know, I was... You know, a maid, you know, cleaned my sister's house. And the manager asked me if I um, wanted to clean his uh, condo. 
you know, after he hired me, a white couple or whatever. And I was like, you know, and you know what he gave me? $20, some pizza, and try to offer me some beer. I might have did it twice or one time, and that was it. That's probably why I got fired or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no, I don't think I drank the beer. You know what I'm saying? And then he was trying to trick me to drive his car, and I didn't have no license. He was like, hey, go get my car. And it was, you know, a nice car. And then, of course, he probably would have been like, um, she stole my car because somebody, you know, a celebrity told that same story pretty much. And they got in trouble or whatever and stuff. Yeah. So I didn't go for it. So, you know, it's a lot of tricksters, con artists and stuff, you know, and me being a native of the land, Chicago. They're trying to discredit me. But right here, uh, part of chapter 18, it says right here, into darkness and chased out of the world. You understand what I'm saying? I did a video about, you know, Martin Luther King talking about you can't chase. You can't get rid of darkness with darkness. You got to get rid of it with love or something. I'll put it in the description of this way. But for the simple fact that it say darkness right there, let you know. They had to peak game when it came to me. And was trolling or whatever, you know, older people. I'm just saying, or great minds think alike, or, you know, God's people got the same DNA or whatever. And uh, if that's the case, you know what I'm saying, we should all be winning, right? You understand what I'm saying? But it says, into darkness and chased out of the world. He shall neither have son nor nephew among his people, nor any remaining in his dwellings. They that come after him shall be uh, a stone at his day, as they that went before were a fight, and surely such are the dwelling of the wicked, and this is the place of him that knoweth not God. So a lot of people don't know who God is, you know, they just believe this is some kind of, you know, hustle or something, it's not. Nobody, you know what I'm saying? Look, this shirt say, Y'all should sell these shirts. This is what you should sell. And see how many people going through what I'm going through. It says jealousy is a disease. Get well soon, bitches. Real fucking tough. See, a gift is from God and a surprise to kill you. You know what I'm saying? Real tough. So read Job chapter 18, 19, 20, and 21. A lot of people wanted to be free from their jobs because, you know, that's a form of slavery also. It's you understand, depending on what the contract read or whatever and stuff, but I've been independent, you know, like little Boosie, you know what I'm saying, talked about. Now, you know, I've had a lot of jobs, and they worked me like a Hebrew slave, never worked a job that paid more than almost $8 an hour, and my first, uh, let me see, job, I think was at the barbecue house or whatever and they was paying 500 a month for 12 hours a day six days a week you understand what i'm saying which wasn't nothing and i'm about getting that same shit right now and i'm 55 years old i can't do nothing with that you understand what i'm saying i mean i could tell you my truth and show you that it's possible to come up off of anything you know i started my so-called sales job in the streets 40 dollars you know, from a general assistant check, but I also uh, used to sell pops when it used to be uh, Cub Foods and stuff. I think they changed it from Cub Foods to Aldi's. That's what I believe happened. Long story short, you know, I've tried it all. I, you know, I'm the best at when it comes to, you know, trying to get some money. Money is not the problem. I, you understand? People stealing it, you know, and stuff like, you know, more money, more problems. You understand what I'm saying? So I went and bought some, and I got this quarter. It's 1992. Now, Martin Luther King was born 1929. So just accommodate me. You know what I'm saying? Real tough. Let's see if it'll focus. Yeah, I don't want to focus. Yeah, so just accommodate me. If we were playing a lottery. This would be, you know, good enough or whatever, I guess. I don't know. This not paying off for me, so I'm too old to be going out there. You know, I, I ride my bike, but I be doing a lot of praying and stuff. You understand know what I'm saying? I mean, my body is fucked up. It really is. And, you know, this is the time I'm supposed to be 
you know, relaxing and not worrying about, you know, weird stuff that's going on. Like I'm some kind of teenager or something. It's like I'm still going through this adolescent stage and shit. You know, it's almost like, you know, it's just, it's too much. It's too much. So I got the crown. You know what I'm saying? Go get your own and shit. And, you know, do it like that if you want. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But when they eat y'all little asses, don't say nothing, okay? Well, fuck it so. That's why I don't eat meat today because... You know, that was a horrible experience I had. Shit, real fucking talk. But I was hungry to fuck at that day. You know what I'm saying? I mean, waste not, want not, right? <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, nigga. I don't know. But uh, a lot of people don't like winners. You know what I'm saying? And I don't like whiners. I can't do it. It's too hard. I need help. Blah, blah, blah. Y'all got to pay me. Because God is definitely going to get you if you don't. That little crazy check ain't enough to fucking goddamn do nothing. If I saved and bought a car, nigga, which would be a trap, it'll probably break down three days from now. I couldn't keep it up. You understand what I'm saying? Somebody will probably break in and steal it. I ain't got time for that shit. I need my abundance. The ones that people are stealing. You know what I'm saying? Now they, you know, they not worried. Something happened, they go get them or no. Me, if my bike break down, shit, I be trying to figure out what the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. Shit ain't fair, nigga. But you know I don't lose. I got my number one on for a reason. You saw it for yourself. 507. I mean, keep, that, keep playing me like a fool and I promise you, God will kill you. Uh-huh. And at 19, they try to take 19 years of sobriety from me. Fucking gang bangers, 506. Drop that zero. You got bloods and crips. I brought y'all together. In AA, they say we are people who normally would not mix. I brought y'all together. You know what I'm saying? Now, unless y'all want to start beefing and killing each other again, you understand what I'm saying? Put some respect on my fucking name. Real fucking toe. And leave my girls that look like me alone. Stop. You know, hating on us. They told me I was too cool. What the fuck does that mean, nigga? You know what I'm saying? Other than I am. You know what I'm saying? I can't help your girlfriend like me. Motherfuckers be hating this shit. Trying to stop girls from talking to me. I ain't want to go get no goddamn tissue. This girl came out with some tissue in her basket. Here comes some nigga smoking a cigarette and shit. You understand what I'm saying? Telling her who I am and shit. I was like, hey, can I buy some of that tissue? I can't go in the store on my bike. You know, back in the day, that shit would have worked. You know what I'm saying? I would have gave her a tip and everything. Oh, I got this fan from the gay parade. I know y'all hating on this. Oh, look at that. Whew, Lord, I say it ain't so. <laughs> Hot as hell. Supposed to rain tomorrow. Ah, it's good on the ball here, too. And they got a place where you can put some water in here and spurt yourself. I ain't figured how to uh take this thing out of it and stuff. So, you know, I got like a little mission to figure out. Uh, just switch up glasses on y'all, I guess, shit. Put my motherfucking game bang, banger glasses on. <laughs> what up? Cardi B say I'm competing with myself. And I won. Thank you very much. You know what I'm saying? A rose is still a rose for all the ones who've been violated. Listen to Aretha Franklin song. A rose is still a rose. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about them motherfuckers that left you. You know what I'm saying? Somebody will find, find you and appreciate you. You can join the Mary Mac non crybaby club. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. I'm just saying. Shut your game up. I love you. You love me. Tell everybody else. Kick fucking rocks and shit. Real fucking toe. You know what I'm saying? I got my go fuck you glasses. I got my go fuck you glasses. You go fuck yourself glasses. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no fucks for free here. So if that's what this is all about, Chicago, you see the John Hancock. Told you my signature was going to be worth more than goddamn Michael Jordan. You see the goddamn people see all that green? That's money, motherfucker. Real fucking chip. Peace.